South Africa is indelibly written into the history of world surfing. As a nation, we stand proudly alongside the world's best. Since before the 30s, waves have been ridden along our shores. Pioneers like Max Wetland, John Whitmore and Graham Hines were the forerunners. Opening up new breaks like J-Bay, developing the modern surfboard and creating a platform for those to come. When my home is the lowlands, always will be wave after wave of great surfers followed, and in 10 years South Africans were competing for the world titles. And five years later, the Gunston 500 was high on the list of international surfing events. Before long, our surfers were traveling to Hawaii to test their metal against the best surfers and the biggest waves in the world. Through these fields of destruction Baptisms of fire I've witnessed your soul. Since then at an amateur level, Chris Knudsen and Brodovitz and Warwick Wright, Travis Logie and many others have won world titles. Sean Thompson, Martin Potter and Wendy both have owned world titles at the highest professional level. As we speak, Geordie Smith is competing in Rio, a true contender for a world surfing title. For Geordie and his thousands of fans, anything less than a world title just won't cut it. That's because we as South Africans have a culture of winning. It's hardwired into our DNA. It's all about first place, second sucks. With that thought in mind, in August last year, a group of surfers assembled in J-Bay. This crew of esteemed sappers met to plot a course with one clear intention to pass their knowledge and their experience on to a new brand of young brothers and sisters who will carry the South African flag into the future. So many different sons And we have just been right But we live in different headed home with a mission to create a structure that would see legends pass on some stuff to the next generation of South African junior surfers. To do that we needed a cunning and ambitious plan. A visionary was needed, somebody with a large dose of leadership, passion and direction. There was only one guy in the whole world who had all these attributes, Gavin Parisi's. Gavin, as everybody here will know, started SA Rugby Legends, an organization that has made a massive impact on junior rugby. Since then, the group has created an opportunity to fulfill our vision, mentoring and nurturing junior surfing talents in this country. A great sport and a great lover of sport is Mr. Gavin Verigis. This legendary South African sportsman says he owes his career to Gavin. When I came sort of Near the end of my surfing career, the whole big wave surfing thing started and I could prolong my surfing career. But his sponsors at the time didn't have the budget. And Gavin literally said, what, whatever it is, you know, you've got it. The backing extended Jason Ribbing's surfing career by almost a decade. That actually ended up being my most successful part of my career. Had it not been for Gavin, I don't believe I would have, I would have had that. And I mean, even with my son now, my son's 10 years old, and Gavin backed it. James Ribbink is well on his way to a bright future in surfing. Current under 10 South African champion, James hasn't lost a contest in his age group. In all the years I've known Gavin, I've never met one person who didn't just say that's the most humble, generous person that they've ever met. Really, not one? Not one. He's the maker of legends, but he is the legend. South Africa has all the ingredients to have the best surfers in the world. So what I'm offering to these young surfers and any young athlete is a shortcut. It's like you can use a road map or you can fight your way through the jungle. These kids go and slug it out on the, on the WQS. It's not, it's not easy. 
And I think if South African surfers, as an entity, young South African guys, listened and learned together, they just raise that standard and it would be boom, 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 boom. And when you have that collective push, just like they've had that collective push in Brazil, we'll be back hammering it. So hopefully, with all of us, uh, us legend guys can, um, can give the young crew some juice. That's all we're trying to do. We're not trying to do, take over anything. We just want to give the crew some juice.